I'm Jim Pierce with Baton Investing. Every day, people like you come to us whenever they realize the current investment approach just isn't working. We give them an easy-to-use system that has beaten the S&P 500 by more than 300% since 2003, takes just 30 seconds a month to use, and most importantly, will help you achieve your financial dreams. Now, today's free stock tip is a company called Dominion Diamond Corporation, which used to be known as Harry Winston Corp until they changed its name a couple of years ago. It's the largest diamond producer in Canada and the third largest in the world. Now, like most other commodities, diamond prices have been flat as the global financial markets deal with deflation in Europe and China's decelerating economy. So, since peaking near $20 a share less than six months ago, the mini share price recently dropped below $12. But our system tells us that it's become oversold, and here's why. As you know, if you've seen some of our previous videos, we have 10 models that, that are based on 10 of the all-time most successful investors. Usually, a stock rates very highly according to our growth gurus or our value gurus. But it's rare that a stock scores highly according to both. And when that happens, that usually means the stock is almost certain to go up. So in the case of Dominion Diamond Corp, symbol is DDC, Peter Lynch's PE Growth Investor Model gives it a perfect score of 100%. Now at the core of Lynch's methodology is something known as the PEG ratio, which stands for Price to Earnings to Growth Ratio. And what Lynch did is he would look at the PE ratio for a stock and compare it to the average rate of growth in earnings over the past five years to determine if the market is valuing those earnings at a high enough rate. So if a PEG ratio is less than 1.0, that's good. That means the market is not valuing the uh, rate of growth of those earnings as fast as the actual PE ratio itself. In the case of Dominion Diamond, its PEG ratio is 0 0.48, or almost half of Lynch's maximum of 1.0. Now in addition, Lynch also wanted to see that inventories were not growing faster than sales. He would allow for a little bit of that, maybe about 5% a year, but he ideally would want to see that under 100%. And in the case of Dominion Diamond Corp, the, the difference in the rate of growth of inventory versus sales is about 87%. In other words, inventories have actually been drawn down during the past year. Sometimes when a company gets in trouble, you see inventories building up and they got a lot of supply that they got to sell before they can go back to charging full prices. But not so with Dominion Diamond. Actually, inventories have shrunk a bit compared to sales over the past year. So that's why it gets a perfect score, according to Lynch. Now, Benjamin Graham, who's known as the father of value investing, and he was the mentor to Warren Buffett, uh, his value investor methodology scores it. It's still at a very high 71%. But remember, value and growth are oftentimes thought of as almost opposite uh, approaches to evaluating stock. So a score of 71 from Graham while getting a perfect score of 100 from Lynch is really good. Now Graham would look at a lot of balance sheet, sheet items in current, including current ratio, which of course is current assets compared to current liabilities. Uh, he wanted to see um, uh, that they be uh, no less than two. In other words, he had two times coverage of current assets, current liabilities. In the case of Dominion Diamond, they have more than four times coverage, a current ratio of 4.4. So that's good from a liquidity standpoint. He also wanted to see that um, long-term debt divided into uh, net current assets was less than 100%, that a company wasn't relying on too much leverage. And in the case of Dominion Diamond, it's only 5%, which of course is a very low number compared to that. So here you've got a company, scores perfect according to Lynch's growth methodology, still very high according to Graham's value methodology, and by the way, pays a dividend of 3.5%. And earlier this year, a few months ago, company management reiterated that they uh, intend to continue to pay the dividend at that level for the remainder of the year. Now their next, and this is a Canadian company, so they actually report their earnings semi-annually. Their next semi-annual report is on September 10th. So if you think that the market's uh, due for a pop and that any good news from a company like this may also drive the stock up, you might see a little pop in the in, uh, Dominion Diamond, in which case you might want to try and grab it before September 10th. On the other hand, if you're more conservative, you want to wait and make sure that the news is not bad, then you should wait after September 10th. But the stock is Dominion Diamond, symbol DDC, and right now it's trading around $12 a share. We think it's a buy up to about $14. Now, Dominion is only one of 10 stocks that we own at any one time, and every month we identify the 10 stocks that score the highest, highest and rebalance our portfolio accordingly. So, if you want to know more about how our system works, 
you can go to batoninvesting.com and click on how it works. You can also take a three question assessment to see if our system is right for you. It's not right for everybody, but maybe you're one of them. So go to batoninvesting.com now and I'll see you again soon with another free stock tip. Thank you.